Welcome to Encouraging One Another. Last week, I listened to the testimony of a man who used to be in the occult. He shared how God used a 19-year-old girl to get him out of the occult. And there were so many lessons that I learned from this story. First of all, this was a young lady, 19-year-old. But God was able to use her because she was consistent in her um, devotion to God, very prayerful, definitely walking in holiness. And it was through her that this man was stripped of all the evil powers that he possessed. Another thing that really stood out for me is the fact that we have power. God has given us power through Jesus Christ to defeat the evil one. And let me explain why I'm saying this. When the girl was approached by the Holy Spirit to um, speak to this man, she was quite anxious because this man was known to be wicked. So she actually told God that this is a wicked man. How can I be able to get through to him? But the Holy Spirit kept impressing on her. She kept giving excuses, but finally she gave in. But even the day she decided to go, she still decided to go at a time when she knew that probably the man would not be there. But God knew what he was doing. So she went and, as God will have it, she met him. And still, she went past him. She walked past him. But the Holy Spirit convicted her again. So she turned and she called him. When she called him, the man was so angry. Before he turned, he started conceiving his head what he could do to the girl, maybe make her mad or call some fire up on her to destroy her so that he would get her off his back. But he turned and when he looked at the girl, all he saw was bright light and what seemed like fire coming from her eyes and those were shot at him. And right there and then he was stripped of all the occultic powers. It didn't stop there. He still tried to summon, he actually summoned demons you know, to still try and fight the girl. But the light was still there. And at that point, he saw Jesus. And the Holy Spirit also t um, spoke to the girl at that point and told her to walk to him and tell him that Jesus loved him. So she did that. She went forward, embraced him, and told him that Jesus loves him. And right there and then, all the demons fled. And he broke down in tears. Till that time, he hadn't been able to shed tears. This was a man who on the day he was born was married to a 60-year-old witch. So he was callous, he was wicked, had never been able to express any form of emotion. But that day, when Jesus delivered him, he cried for the first time in his life. Fast forward, he went on to sleep for like 48 hours, something he hadn't been, been able to do. He, he said that at most he could sleep two hours each day because his whole body had been taken over by demons. So he was oppressed physically. But that day, he got his freedom. He was able to sleep. My brothers and my sisters, we have power in Jesus. If only we will walk consistently with him, if we will serve him, if we will delight in his word, if we will obey his word and, and not indulge in sin and not walk in evil, we will realize that power. These demons and these evil people they they are even more aware of the power that they possess than we who have the power of the one who created the heavens and the earth when we read colossians chapter 1 verse 15 and 16 it says that he is the image of the invisible god the firstborn of all creation for by him all things were created both in heavens and on earth visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities all things have been created through him and for him so when the bible says that we are hidden with christ and god it means that this power that christ has this rulership that he has over principalities and powers and thrones and thrones and dominions we also have it so we should be able to exercise that power so that when the devil sees us he flees not the other way around where we cower in fear and we are so afraid but rather he will see us and he will see the light of Christ and the power of Christ in us and flee. So I'm here to encourage us today. Christ has given us power. Let's walk right with him. Let's 
have faith in him. Let's t- take hold of that power that he's given us and overcome the devil. Thank you, and I'll see you another time.